What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. So the other day I was doing a video where I did this exact dungeon and I had a lot of inventory issues. And a lot of you on Discord were like, man, it was hard to watch you struggle through all that inventory and through all of those issues. And they gave me some amazing tips that I'm going to share with you today. So without further ado, let's jump into the tips that I was taught on my Discord by the amazing community. So as you can see, I have a full inventory. It's chock full. There isn't a single spot. As well as my succubi, there isn't a single spot except for those few right there. But you can't fit long items in them. So the first one is something that I actually forgot to do, and that's just equip weapons in that second slot. Putting a large weapon in that second slot is going to give you the most space. So as you can see, as I'm playing around here, I'm able to actually get quite a bit of space from just moving those weapons into that second slot. The second one was how to drop things. There's actually this gray box right up here. I didn't even see it. So if you take something, you place it in that gray box. What it actually does is it drops it on the ground right in front of you. Now that gray box is not there unless you have something highlighted, but you are able to drop things on the ground that way should you need to. Now, both of those tips are going to give you a bit of room. You can make a little bit of room with both of those tips. So what happens when you're in a dungeon this big and there is so much loot? You have to either decide what to take back to your base or there's actually something you could do in game right now, which I don't think is intended. And if I had to guess, I would say that this is going to get patched at some point in time. But if you don't want to drop things on the ground, something you can actually do is open up your pods menu and that's going to let you access your home storage. So at any point in time, you can access your home storage and just transfer everything into your home storage. This way you can actually pick up absolutely all the loot and not have to worry about your inventory management. You just transfer that stuff into your home storage and then once you get back, you can pull that stuff back out of storage and sell it. The last thing that I want to cover here is the end game rewards or the end match rewards. So when you complete a dungeon, you have rewards. They're usually gold and crystals and then some lingerie and different items. If you get to the point where you're at the end and you haven't dropped the things, you can see it pops up and says inventory full. So if we return home, what you're going to see is those items are actually laying on the ground in your home. So if your inventory is full and you return home, that's okay. It's going to be waiting for you at the entrance. So that's it, just a quick little tip guide to tell you how to better manage your inventory and a couple of tricks of things that may or may not be intended. We'll have to find that out down the road. But I want to know in the comment section below, what have you run across that you want other people to know about She Will Punish Them? Do you have any tips that you want to share with everyone else? The whack moments in this video were sponsored by my legendary supporters. Thank you very much. If you'd like to become a member, you can click the button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not a subscriber, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video. Now, if you're not done watching, there's two videos on the screen. You could pick one of those to watch next. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace.